Okay, great. So um, the next thing to look at then is to focus on this idea of the yield variance, the yield variance. So the argument is, again, like I said, the focus now moves away from inputs to outputs. So we expect you, it's really like your classic efficiency variance, we expect you to use 12 kilograms to produce a thousand units of output, right? I mean, that's ultimately what we're saying here. We expect a thousand units of output to come out. It says it a thousand units of output to come in out of twelve um, hundred kilograms. So I guess the question really here is that you came out with twenty one thousand units using twenty five thousand kilograms. So I guess the fundamental question here is that um, from an output point of view, I want to focus on your outputs. Given that I had twenty five thousand kilograms. How many units should have come out, if you like? Um, and you can see really here, I mean, I'm just using the 25,000 kilograms, and I'm asking how many units should have come out, if you like, um, at of this 25,000 kilograms. And you can see that to, to, in this discussion, really, I'm really, I must really be talking at standards, you know, I'm not really breaking it up to what, what you're actually using. I just want to understand in terms of efficiency, purely efficiency. So I'm all this is all assumed at standard mix, all assumed at standard mix. This is the critical point. So if the argument is that 1,200 kilograms should give you 1,000 units because I'm interested in the output. Well, 25,000 kilograms should give us, right, 25,000 divided by... 1,200 times 1,000, and that's, they should give us 20,833 units. So we should have made, using 25,000 kilograms, using the standard relationship, we should have come out with 20,833 units. But we came out with more. We actually came out with We actually came out with one, let me just do that, 21,000. We actually came out with 166, I'm just going to go with 167 units more than we should have. So this is kind of a, a greater yield because that's the whole definition of yield. I guess it's just making sure you're comfortable. And this is all at standards. You can see that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm treating this 1,200 I mean, at the standard, and I'm I'm basically upgrading it to to, to twenty five thousand. So I'm talking all in standard standard issues here. So what does that mean? So the question is, what is the cost of one hundred and sixty seven units? Imagine I've been making these products. Well, the cost of that. Well, let's just look here. I mean, I, I have the information for a thousand units. I know what a thousand units would cost me. A thousand units. I need one thousand two hundred kilograms, and that's this. This I'm just going to multiply this out. That's six hundred times. 600 times what I'm just going to use it. Let me see if I can get a new a new sheet. So I have 600 times one pound 10. I have 240 times two pound 40. And I have 360 times one pound 50. And when I do all this, 600 times one pound 10, that's 660. 240 times two pound 40, that's 576. And I have 360 times one pound 50, and that's 540. When I add all that together, 660 plus 576 plus 540, I get 1776. So this is to make a thousand, um, yeah, so this is to make a thousand, this is the cost of a thousand units. So if this is the cost of a thousand units, well, that means that the cost of one unit, of course, is one pound seventy-seven, right? So I'm looking for the cost of one hundred and sixty-seven units. So I'll just multiply one pound seventy-six times one hundred and sixty-seven. So one pound seven seventy-six times one hundred and sixty-seven gives us two hundred and ninety-six. So we have a favorable variance of two hundred and ninety-six, two hundred and ninety-seven, whatever you want to call it, rounded up. So the the key argument here is that. 
I'm, I'm trying to sort of understand output. 25,000 kilograms yielded this. That's why we're talking about, well, sorry, I should be using a yield. Sorry, oops, sorry. Let me just go back to yield. Yeah, 25,000 kilograms yielded. 25,000 kilograms yielded 21,000 units. The question here is that what, how many units should 25,000 kilograms have yielded? Because I'm talking about output, right? That's the kind of way I'm looking at it. How many units should 25,000 kilograms have yielded? And it should have yielded 20,833. So we actually have more than it did. And therefore, um, we, and therefore we can argue and we can then find the cost because we know what the standard cost is of making each unit. So that's the way to really deal with that when you get a question um, in dealing with yield, material, price, material yield. So please play around with that. Make sure you're comfortable with what's going on. And um, we'll carry on with, um, with the others as we go along.